Hey there, everyone. This is Troy. Welcome to February 2023 and our Home at Heart update video. Uh, let's get right to it here. First of all, I wanted to let everybody know what we've been working on in the office so faithfully and diligently over the last couple of months, and we'll be working on it into the future as well. Uh, it's our transition to EVV. This is our electronic visit verification system. It's an upgrade from ETC. And EVV is um, it's software for billing and timesheet tracking, and it uh, has some communication features that are really nice for the caregivers. And so the caregivers who have switched over so far really like it. And so if you haven't switched yet but would like to, contact the office. We can get you the information that you need so that you can start appreciating some of the features that are included with EVV. And that's going on here um, over these first uh, several months of, of 2023. We'll keep working on it. Next, I wanted to remind everybody, if you have a change in your contact information, either your email or physical address or your phone number, please contact the office. Let us know. That way we can stay in touch for appointments and get you information that you need as soon as possible. That's really helpful to keep that contact information up to date in the system. Please let us know if you have a change. Third here, wanted to announce that the office staff has a meeting scheduled for Thursday, March 2nd. That's it, um, at 10 a.m. to 12.30. So if you need to get a hold of the office that day, know that during that time, the office phone will be going to voicemail. And so you, if you leave a voicemail, that's fine. We can get back to you after the meeting. Otherwise, you can call us before or after that meeting, uh, before 10 or after 12.30. That would be really uh, helpful. Just wanted to let you know what's going on that day. We're working on EVV communication and some of what we can do to continue to improve how we can serve the clients and caregivers here at Home at Heart. And that's going on on Thursday, March 2nd. Last here, I wanted to bring up a safety topic. Uh, right now, there's inclement storms going on south of us here. And I just wanted to bring up some uh, some tips for having a winter driving kit for putting one together. Uh, first of all, you can read the list here, extra blanket, stocking cap, warm socks and mittens or gloves, flashlight with ex extra batteries, having a first aid kit and water. Now you have to bring your water out of your car uh, or it'll freeze, um, but bring fresh water with you. And then some non-perishable food items like uh, granola bars or trail mix. Those are really uh, nice foods to have in your vehicle. Booster cable, cables, windshield scraper. And then if you get on slippery, a slippery driveway uh, having or get stuck, sand, grit, or kitty litter is great to have in a vehicle. Some people uh, will keep, will carry a little bit of ash with them from a campfire or from a wood stove. And that's really helpful for traction. And then also, of course, having your cell phone and then having an adapter or charger so that you can contact someone in case of an emergency. Uh, these are all great things to have in your vehicle with you. And if you want to go online, there's lots of websites that offer uh, suggestions for your winter driving kit. All right. Well, these are the things that are going on this month at Home at Heart. Thanks for watching. Thank you for making your clients day great, uh, continuing to build Home at Heart's reputation of being a, a first-class caregiving organization, and we want to continue to build that. It's impossible to do that without great caregivers, and we have so many at Home at Heart, and we sure appreciate all your work and efforts in taking care of your clients well. Well, thanks again for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Have a great rest of the month, and uh, we'll see you.